yeah so next up uh, we're going to see some more uh, string related uh, methods uh, so uh, there are uh, three uh, very important methods in strings which uh, help us uh, extract a part of the string out of that string so let's uh, start with uh, say uh, let uh, main string equal to uh, this uh, is a long string and uh, then uh, let's consider this let uh, sub uh, let small string equal to uh, main string dot uh, slice so let me slice from say number two to three okay um what uh, happens if i slice two to three um i will just uh, print uh, this small string uh, and let's take a look So you can see uh, i is uh, printed which means uh, from position number uh, 2 that is uh, this uh, uh, wait a second I'm sorry um, so position number 2 is this and uh, position number 3 is this so this part within that gets uh, printed now uh, we can use some other parameters also uh, here um, so let's uh, try some of them out for example if i use two to uh, six um, you will see that i'm getting is space i printed uh, which means that uh, i got uh, this printed uh, this entire item here dot printed okay um now there's another such method like uh, slice uh, which is uh, substring okay so uh, how does the substring method work uh, we uh, start off with something like this um, substring and uh, again let's say if i do 4 comma 8 and if we print substring we'll see that uh, i is space i is uh, let's take a different position let's say 7 to uh, 10 and uh, we get uh, a printed or um, let's say we uh, make this a contiguous string so that the spaces are visible better here yeah. so uh, 7 to 10 means this uh, part of the string gets uh, printed now, uh, while uh, substring and uh, slice appear to do the same thing, there is a slight difference. Um, so, if we do let uh, or um, let me just uh, use this um, slice and do uh, minus six uh, comma minus uh, four, for example. And uh, if we uh, print that, see uh, this st gets printed where does this uh, st basically come from is that uh, minus six we count from uh, this place here minus six so uh, basically uh, minus six starts from this place and minus four is this so uh, st gets printed okay um, obviously you need to uh, keep in mind that uh, we cannot uh, use numbers that uh, are like i cannot use minus eight here uh, because then uh, i cannot uh, uh, so whenever you're using slice we need to keep in mind that we are always going to slice in this direction okay so if my starting point is here and my end point is here so slicing a string in this direction is uh, not possible you always have to slice in this uh, direction okay uh, now let's uh, move on to uh, another uh, way of extracting items out of the string which is the sub str method uh, which is uh, basically uh, using this method let's say sub str and uh, here let me use uh, numbers of uh, 5 comma 4 okay uh, or uh, let me just uh, use uh, the numbers uh, 3 comma 4 here okay um, uh, okay, let's start with num main string dot slice three comma four. What would have happened in this case is that uh, we would obviously get uh, s here because 
this the this item would get printed now if i do uh, sub str uh, 3 comma 4 um, then you can uh, see that we get uh, this s uh, this entire thing printed uh, so uh, what happens when we use uh, sub str is that this item is my start position uh, but the second argument here is the length and it is not the end position unlike the earlier method that we have seen uh, till now and uh, let's uh, quickly take a look at if uh, this uh, sub str method supports uh, negative numbers as well uh, so if i take minus 6 comma 4 and if i do a sub str as you can see this uh, works uh, perfectly fine for this part of the string so yeah we uh, sub str does support negative numbers um, as well